this is the one thing I wish I realized. When I was starting from zero back in 2019, starting my fitness coaching business, had no clue what I was doing. I wish I realized this one thing. So this would help me make money way faster. I just didn't realize it. Warning, I just drank, you know, this whole monster. So this might be just like turning into a crazy rant. I don't know. I don't, I don't drink those often, but when I do, I get crazy. So here's the one thing. Here's the one thing you understand. So I was talking to someone the other day on the phone. We were talking about, you know, what he's been doing to try and get clients. It wasn't really working out. We were talking about what he's doing currently. And he told me, well, you know, I, I've been sending some DMs, been posting some content. I'm like, okay, well, DMs wise, how many have you sent out in total? I was like, ah, oh, well, I was trying to send out, uh, you know, like 10 a day. And um, I did that for about a month. Well, I, I guess it was pretty inconsistent. So maybe, um, I guess maybe I sent out 100 in total. And, it, you know, it didn't work. So I don't, I don't know what to do here. And so, I wasn't rude. I didn't say anything at all because usually, like, you don't know when you're starting out. All right. So, if this sounds familiar, if you send out like five or 10 games a day, you think like magically this is going to work. Here's the truth you are massively, massively underestimating the amount of volume that is required to get results. All right. So, let's see 100 DMs per day or 100 DMs total sample size, actually. 100 DMs. All right. That is such a like absurdly small number. It's insane. Like, you can't, like, you, if you get lucky, maybe, maybe you'll book a call. Maybe you'll get a client from this if you're extremely lucky. But this is just such a small sample size. Anything can happen. You can get zero responses. And it could be statistically like correct. Even if you have like a good campaign you're running. You need way more volume. Like I recommend doing 100, not 100 in total, 100 per day. Like that is my recommendation minimum for everyone I work with. If you're doing this approach as far as outbound. Or right, so the volume you just have like... Your standards for volume have to literally 10, 20, 30 X to see any results. And this applies everywhere. So if you're doing, if you're doing ads as well, I have another client I work with, we just launched ads and we just launched them like literally like 12 hours ago. And he messaged me, he's like, he's freaking out. He's like, I don't really see like any results yet. Like, what, what do I do? It's, it's been like, I already launched like earlier this morning. I'm just like, well, it's been 12 hours. Um, like usually like, you can't look at ads at all for at least two days, like bare minimum. You, the ads are just like getting down, they're getting set up. Like meta takes time to like actually get them to stabilize. So I don't even look at them for at least two days, right? at least. And so the same thing applies. You need more volume, you need more sample size overall. So just up your standards like literally 10x right now. So if you're doing whatever you're doing, if you're posting like one piece of content a week, 10x it at least, because that's only 10 pieces of content a week. All right, the winners, like look at the people at the top of whatever your, your space is. Or if you're in the hell space, look at the guys who are killing it there. How much sheer volume are they doing? How much content are they producing? And how much outreach, how many ads are they, how much are they spending on ads? Like think of that, like look at it, sheer volume game. Another thing on this, another thing that's really important is people like, I'll say this and they're like, well, like how do I even do that? Like I don't, I'm busy. Like I have all these other things to work. I'm like, what else are you working on? Like what else is there? If you're, if you're running this, if you're starting a business, and you're not spending the vast majority of your time on generating leads and getting clients. Like, what else are you doing? Like, you have no clients. Your whole goal, right, your whole job right now is to get clients in the door. So you can do anything, but you can't do anything without that. The step one is get clients. Spend most of your day doing lead gen activities. Lead gen activities. So we'll break this down right now. I'll list it for you. So, like, for example, we have DMs. DMs is a great one. Um, this is really good if you're starting out or if you don't have a lot of money. This makes a lot of sense. Another one that's free is follow-ups. All right, follow-ups. Follow so this is to all leads who, you know, they're interested in your thing, but they didn't book call or maybe they didn't show up. Or maybe they just didn't close. All right, warm follow-ups. All right, this is persistence. All right, these are extremely high ROI, but no one does this. <laughs> no one does this. All right, the thing is, especially if you've been in business for a while, you should have a long list of everyone who's ever been interested, but they didn't take, take action. So what you can do is you can re-hit that list because what happens, I'll let you know a secret. All right, here's the reason why people actually buy, especially when it comes to some sort of coaching program, usually more of an emotional sale. It's due to trauma. Due to trauma, let me break this down so you don't freak out. So it doesn't have to be something like crazy traumatic. It doesn't like have to be like some real like crazy stuff going on. It just can be something small, like a small comment. For example, the fitness space could be, for example, you know, husband and wife sitting down watching a movie. Husband, he's obviously like overweight. And the wife makes a comment about this male actor who has like the six pack abs. Like, oh, wow, look at his abs, blah, blah, blah. And the dude looks down at his big old belly. He feels like crap all of a sudden. He has these racing thoughts. Oh, she's going to leave me. She's going to cheat on me, blah, blah. And that's a moment of trauma. And when that happens... This guy right here, he's receptive to a solution to his problem. All right, he's in pain right now. 
And so that is why people buy really, they have this pain happen and now they wanna take action. All right, pain is the driver of action. All right, so if you do follow-ups, you do this consistently, you're gonna be there, you're gonna be the first person there when that trial, when that pain does hit, and they're gonna take action, they're gonna buy from you. Boom, and it's money, so we have DMs, we have follow-ups, we have content. Content is a great one, because with content, like you're watching my content right now, content, all it does, it can, it's, it, it can get you inbound leads, obviously, so people are reaching out to you in the first place, which is awesome, when some of the warmest leads you can ever get. But also, it's gonna increase the effectiveness of every other client acquisition system that you run ever. So if you run DMs, all right, this increases the effectiveness of this. If you run ads, the content effects uh, increase the effectiveness of the ads because everyone, basically everyone who ever like, follows you, checks you out, what you've got going on, they look at some of your content. If you have good content, it's gonna just increase conversion rates across the board. So content is amazing. All right, you should be doing content regardless of where you're at. Um, there's ads, obviously. All right, so these are the main ones. There's probably there's probably like one or two more I'm not thinking of. Right now, there's, there's other stuff like referrals, like there's other things you can do, blah, 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 but these are the main ones. All right, so if you like sit down, you should spend like at least 8% of your time doing this stuff, like every single day, especially if you have no clients or very few clients, like these are lead gen activities. These are lead gen activities. And so look at these and just like max these out. Do sheer volume, sheer volume. All right, you know, get this tattooed on your forehead, whatever you have to do to make sure you actually implement this. Like sheer volume is the game. All right, because you just like, you just don't understand what is required to get results yet. You just don't, you just don't. <laughs> like you have to do just way more volume to get results. And the other great thing about volume is it allows you to improve your processes. All right, so for example, let's say, you know, you're running ads, for example, and this applies to everything you do, but basically what happens when you have volume is you're able to collect data, you collect data. So for example, you're running ads, let's say you're running you know, three different creatives for simplicity, so three different ads, and you're basically able to see different conversion rates on different ads. So you can see, okay, well, number one over here, you know, converted at like 80%, number two converted at 20, and then number three converted at 10%. And so you can clearly see like, number one is like killer. It's absolutely killer. And so you're collecting data on what works, what doesn't work, what your market likes, what your market doesn't like. And so what you're doing is you're improving your processes. And so when we're running ads, we're creating more creatives, we're gonna look at number one and how can we iterate based off of this and create like repli or, you know, duplicates of this basically, inspiration from that. And that's the game, <laughs> that is the game. So volume works because number one, you're getting your offer in front of more humans, just sheer volume, sheer numbers basis, but you're also improving the process because you're collecting more data. And data is the game. Really all businesses at its core is having enough data to basically predict like what percentage of humans are gonna take a certain action to like buy your thing. If you have that data, you become unstoppable, you can predictable, you can, you can become consistent. That's the game. All right, so you're just constantly collecting data. And volume is the thing that unlocks the key to data. So that's what you need. All right, so here's like a bunch of scribbles and stuff. Hopefully this, this video was helpful somehow. <laughs> but uh, anyways, if you do like this stuff, if you wanna implement more of this stuff into your business and really systemize client acquisition, make it consistent, make it predictable, now at least add at least 10 to 30k a month to your coaching business. Click the link below. Um, I have an offer for us to work together one-on-one -on -one to actually implement this stuff, make this a reality. We have a killer guarantee, by the way, you're gonna like this. Um, so click the link if that's you, if you're interested in that. If not, thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.